what is up y'all um i guess this is like the beginning of my labor and delivery vlog um today is today is november 17th tuesday november 17th um it's around 1 50 p.m um zell is actually on his way home let me close this door Zell is actually on his way home um i have been like cleaning up and stuff but um basically to, let me tell y'all what happened so this morning around like um seven o'clock ish like right before Zell was getting ready to go to sleep i woke up and my underwear were like filled my underwear was like filled with like gush so it was like filled with like water um but i didn't think anything too much of it i thought maybe the baby was just um sitting on my bladder to the point where i maybe like possibly had like peed on myself so i just got up changed my underwear went back to sleep and zell had told me he had a doctor's appointment today and he paused for a second was like do i need to go to work and i was like yeah just go ahead like i think i'm good i think i just peed on myself if it's my water like i'll let you know so he um got up went to work um he told me he had a doctor's appointment today at four we didn't think anything of it kind of i kind of was like was that my water but then we just looked at each other i was like mm, maybe not so i went back to sleep i woke up around like what time did i wake up i wrote it down I woke up at around, so that was like around 7.20, 7.35. I woke up at around like maybe like 11 or so, um, or like 10, because I was texting my mom and my sister. And um, when I had woke up, yeah, it was like around 10. When I had woke up, um, my water, I mean, there was water in my underwear again. So I was like, what the heck? I was like, okay, I'm gonna just take a shower. Um, my sister was doing a little bit of research. I was like, I'm going to just take a shower, um, put some dry underwear on again and see if it leaks at all um, because I'm not having any contractions. So my sister was like, um, you know, usually when you're not having contractions and your your water breaks, um, they might have to induce you or whatever. So but you usually go into labor within 12 to 24 hours after that, like active labor where you have contractions and stuff. So I finally just called my, um, I was trying to like get a few things together before we got ready to leave to go to the hospital, but I finally called my doctors and they told me my doctor, my doctor, my specific doctor is not there right now, but they told me I can go ahead and come ahead to the hospital. Cause she was like, that's definitely my water. So yeah, I'm not feeling any contractions right now. I just threw on this little outfit. Um, and I'm probably just going to throw my um either my air force ones on or my slides um i need to put a different bra on i have on a sports bra um i might leave my sports bra on but yeah so baby teeks is ready to come um she's ready to come i might put some different um earrings on too and maybe do my makeup real quick before zill gets here um i know he can be like what the heck um, and I didn't get a chance to do anything my, to my hair, so I'm just going to wear it in a bun, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm going to figure that out. But I'm going to finish up putting... I already have, like, my bags packed, but I'm going to finish putting what I need to put in the bag. So I had a got, gotten a few stuff from the baby shower. So I'm going to put a few things left in this bag. I was trying to, like, clean up the house a little bit, too, because I had stuff everywhere from the baby shower. And then um, me and Zell are actually going to... I'm um, getting ready to head to the hospital. So the, I know for a fact they're not going to let me record at the hospital, you guys. Um, uh, so if I do get video on my camera, um, it'll I'm going to be trying to be like really discreet. Um, but I'll probably mostly be vlogging and doing most of my vlogging when I get to the hospital on my phone. So hopefully you guys don't mind that, but I want to try to get, you know, still try to get as much footage as I can, but it'll be back and forth between um, footage from my camera from my to my phone. So just keep that in mind, but I am going to try to get as much of, document as much as this as I can for you guys, because I know you guys want to see, you know, um, how my labor and stuff goes. So yeah, Zell should be here soon and we should be heading to the hospital. We, the lady was like, we'll probably be there around like 2.30 to 3. So yeah, we'll see how it goes.
news. Wish me freaking luck. Oh, when I was on the phone with the nurse, the lady, um, she was like, oh my God, you're so calm. Like for your water to break, you're so calm. I'm like, I'm not having any contractions yet. Like, but she was like, you're so calm. I'm like, I'm trying to stay calm. Like I was like, it's just like, feels like I'm peeing on myself. <laughs> like that's literally what it feels like. I'm like, it feels like I'm freaking peeing on myself. <laughs> into my doctor's office and um, my doctor is actually not here but a man doctor he checked me and I'm five centimeters and he kept asking me was I having any contractions and I'm like no I'm not having any contractions um, so I don't know if they're going to induce me or not I really wanted to just happen naturally I don't want to be induced so yeah so then he was like okay we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and walk you down to the main hospital and we're gonna admit you. So he brought me down here, and that is where I am now. And I'm just waiting for a sale. I'm st I'm still leaking because my water broke. I told y'all that I left it at the house. So yeah. I'm just waiting for Zelda to get in here with my bags and stuff. That is just came in here. But he just left. He's about to go get him some food. <laughs> I don't know if I can eat or not. My mom is two hours away. She went to my grandma's house to go drop my grandpa off. So hopefully, she but she's on her way back. And she was like shook. <laughs> um, but everybody said I'm acting so calm and stuff like that. So I'm trying to stay calm. I'm nervous. Just watching TV, National Security with Martin. This is the room I'm in right now. I don't know if I can put me in a different room or if I'm going to deliver here. So, this is the room right now. Look at this little that pillow. I'm glad we brought our own pillow. I'd be weak watching this, y'all. Mm. My dad is over here eating in front of mama. COVID test and they asked me like a bunch of questions and things like that. COVID test was not that bad, but it was just very really uncomfortable. So yeah, so I'm just gonna chill out and kind of like try to rest. She told me I can't eat, but that I can drink like anything that I want right now. So I believe I'm still five centimeters dilated. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Let's see, I'm just gonna get some rest. It's super cold in here. I'm starting to feel a little bit of like tightening and contractions. So I know it's probably gonna get worse as I the more I dilate. So and yeah, I'll update y'all soon. It's currently eight of eight of, what time is it now? Eight of eight. 8.15. My mom is here. She just came in, swapped out with Zell, and she got one. I got my purse. 
She came in here. Um, I forgot what I, oh, my doctor came in and I was five centimeters, I think. Um, and he said that. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all when um, the baby's heart rate had dropped. Me and Zell, we were sitting here and her heart rate had dropped, so they ran in. And I think I told y'all they put me on the birth control. Um, they ran in, they pulled, they pushed, pulled, pushed me to the side um, to get her heart rate to come back up. And then they turned off the, what is that fluid that they put in when they induce you? What's the fluid that they use? What, what's like the medicine that they use? I forgot, it's like a medicine. Yeah. It's a medicine they use when they induce you. So they said it was too, it was too much. She, the baby didn't like it. So they turned it off um, to get her heart rate to go back up. And then I still wasn't dilated anymore and I still wasn't really feeling the contractions. So they put me on a birthing ball. Um, but like they call them peanut balls, they use those. I'ma show y'all those. And then, um, yeah. Um, the doctor had came in and he was like asking me, did I want to get an epidural and stuff? Because it could have been possible that I may have to get a C-section because um, that if they turned on the little medicine thing again, that little inducing medicine, I can't think of what it's called. And her heart rate dropped again um, because she's so small, basically, I guess, like it's like suffocating them, so they don't want to do that. That if her heart rate dropped again, they would have to give me a C-section if I wasn't dilating or feeling any contractions or anything like that. They couldn't keep putting all that stress on her. I can't remember what I was saying because my nurse came in, but they said they didn't want to keep putting the extra stress on her, so they turned the, the machine off. And that if her heart rate dropped again, I would have to get a C-section, which I really don't want to do. So, um, yeah. So they had me on that birthing ball. I mean, they had that ball underneath me. And that actually made me dilate a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. Um, about an hour or so ago. Probably about 30 minutes or an hour or so ago. I finally got up out of the ball. A new nurse came in. I'm not going to do church. <laughs> So quick. Yeah. I don't know why I can the heart that many nuts. You can turn it on. Turn it down. Oh. They took me off that bar and then she put me back on my back because I was on my side. And I had dialed, she checked my cervix. I had dilated to six. And she was saying my bladder was super cool, which I hadn't used the bathroom since I had been here, so since three o'clock. And so she let me the bathroom and that helped a lot that helped a lot um, and then she put me back in the bed and then she turned the stuff back on and I wasn't really feeling contractions now they're starting to pick up again um, and then my mom and Zell switched out I think I told y'all that it seemed like as soon as I took a little sip of this Sprite that's when the contractions started up again so I don't need to um, drink no more of that
So wait, but what make y'all get that? What does the epidural do? It just, you can't feel none of that pain. Yeah, but it's coming, but you won't feel all that intense pain. You'll, you'll but some people get their epidural a lot, though, because they back here. Yeah. My back not hurting. It's, in the st- it's the pain in the stomach. Yeah. I need to shut up, because you told me about these contractions, yeah. and I didn't believe you. Right. Right. Mama, did it did it hurt. hurt. Okay. Wait, I don't know who told you. You was talking to. Uh, they need to take their video down. Just they lying. It was like really <laughs> intense. Like, <laughs> it, Mama, somebody said it's like a period cramp. It is like that, but like it's ten times. Yeah. Ten times worse. I don't get period cramps though, mm-hmm. like that. So. Period. Yeah, it's bad. the stuff back on and they said she was doing good so that's good I just want to push you out baby I don't want to have a c-section do you know anybody who was I've heard of people having animals, like, that's certain. I just don't know what to do with it. She ain't doing okay right now. Right, so far, she's doing good. I, I prayed to Grandma. Okay. I'm like, I don't want to have this stuff. I really don't want to have this stuff. Even though I'm guessing it would be easier, right? Nah, I don't think so. You don't think so? I'm not praying to you. Grandma. Thank you. 
updates y'all a little bit on everything. If anything changes, I'll let y'all know. I don't even know if I'm posting this. I just want it for myself. Yeah, I probably won't post this. I wish I could take a freaking nap. But that's probably not happening. something to my head. Alright, it's the next day. Is it November the 18th? What time is it? I'm walking around. It's 8.36. I fed her around 6, 7, kind of 6 or 7. He's sleeping. In the little baby. She's sleeping. Oh my gosh. Is it always sleeping per usual? Been sleeping. This is what they do. I changed her diaper. And then they brought me breakfast. I'm still in these people gown. I don't want to be able to take it off. I meant to put my own PJs on, but I don't want to get afterbirth on it. This is the bathroom. We in the postpartum. It's small. I don't want to show that the toilet. I'm ready to take a shower. I had to ask my nurse when I could take a shower. This is I didn't show you this earlier. I did that over there sleeping. So yeah. And they brought me breakfast, so I'm about to eat it. I just got eggs, bacon, and pancakes. Some orange juice. Sleepy and some fruit. And this is from last night. All this stuff. I want to eat. Because I don't remember all my own clothes. Girl, no. So this is the 
times I need to keep track of me breastfeeding. I've been putting it in my notes, but I'm about to write this down. And this is for me and Zero's dinner. And then this is just to fill out this birth certificate. I mean, yeah, birth certificate packet. So I'm about to do all of that after I get to eat. I'm not sure about to do this and how long we finish with the knees out, so I don't forget. So yeah, y'all. That's pretty much it. Her diaper bag. I got a bunch of stuff down there for her. y'all it is november 18th um, wednesday the day after labor we are still in the postpartum room our postpartum room we're supposed to go home tomorrow sometime around noon it's currently like 809 if my doctors come in i'm gonna put my camera down but we're still in the room i did take a shower today and I put on my little postpartum outfit from Blanky. Um, it's just like a nursing bra from Bamboobies, the little Blanky tank top, and then the leggings, which is helping compress everything in. Um, so I did take a shower and Mia Zell ate our little dinner. I had like a filet mignon, he had like an Angus burger steak or whatever. And then tonight they're doing labs on baby teaks. She's sleeping. Um, I didn't take her pictures today. I'm going to have her take her pictures tomorrow. Before we go home, um, I had this t-shirt on her earlier just because I thought like her other granny and stuff was coming. Changed her, but she just had on the t-shirt, socks, and a hat. And now I changed her into like a little pajama set. So she's warm because she was real cold. <coughs> she was having a hard time feeding. When my lactation nurse came in, um, she was only feeding for, she was only feeding for like five minutes or like eight minutes. So they were like really short feedings. Um, but this last feeding, she's fed for like 30 minutes, so we're making progress. Daddy went downstairs to go get some more food at the cafe because he was still hungry. And I'm about to try to take like a quick nap while she's sleeping. I got my robe on. It's so cold outside. This is best mom. Oh, yeah, I'm about to chill out. My mom did come up here for a little bit too. And she was helping me while I took a shower. And Zell kind of went home to, um, you know, just like clean up the house, freshen up. He wanted to take him a little nap at home because this bed was like a mess. And my mom wanted to come in anyway, so they swapped out because y'all know they can only let one person in at a time. So yeah, he did that while I kind of like got myself together and changed. We th I thought more people were going to come up here today, but. Guess everybody, um, I kind of wanted to get myself together before I let everybody kind of come up here. Because um, I was a mess. I had on my gown. I didn't even get to change into my clothes and stuff. So, yeah. Or change her into her clothes. She was wearing a bunch of hospital stuff. Oh, there goes that day. <laughs> What'd you get? You got coffee? Yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna just drink a little bit of it. Do it. You ain't get no creamer? You ain't get no creamer? You just got regular coffee? That's a sugar. Oh, that's a sugar. All right, so. I'm not gonna put you on the camera, honey. Hey, no, mama. Oh, yeah. So I got to do my yaps tonight. I did my hearing test today. 
and I keep sucking on my fingers. I won't take the pacifier. <laughs> I was actually talking. Yeah, I'm a, I need to take a snooze, I'm, but I'm about to drink a little bit of this coffee. Then try to take a snooze. I need to let this. Uh, how you feel, babe? I'm good. <laughs> she looked just like you. I'm about to spit it. I don't know how to do this. Oh, there it go. All right, y'all, I'm about to go. This scar on my face is bad. I need a little cat nap. It is currently Thursday, November the 19th. Today we go home. It's 8.16 a.m. in the morning. And Miss Sahara is sleeping. Hi, baby. She's knocked out. She's sleeping. So I have her diaper bag and stuff over here. Gotta zip it up. These are her, this is her photography outfits. Outfit she's gonna take pictures in when the photographer comes. I just got her stuff laid out. I got what I'm gonna wear home out, just some sweatpants and a maternity tank. I'm probably gonna put like a little jacket on to match what she's wearing home. I think I showed y'all. It's a little Nike outfit. This is where I've been sleeping. Excuse the mess. <clears throat> Zell went downstairs. My lips are really trapped. I'm tired. We didn't really get any sleep last night like that. They said the second night is always hard. She kept us up all night. She kept me up all night because she wanted to be I got my alarm set to wake up and stuff. But she kept me up all night because she wanted to be nursed a lot. So I just have on my little nightgown. But yeah, she wanted to be nursed a lot last night. Um, she didn't want to come off the nipple. So, yeah. But I'm getting ready to just eat my breakfast. Enjoy my last little day here. I'll be having to make sure the nurses are coming home. Same so talking talk to myself. They kind of just reordered my breakfast from yesterday. Um, ooh. I got too much stuff on this tray. hate hospitals y'all yeah they gave me eggs bacon and french toast this time yesterday was pancakes i got orange juice and some fruit over there i already kind of got into that and then that's just stuff from yesterday um so i'm gonna get ready to eat this um, my mom and my sister called this morning. I just got off the phone with them. My tooth is actually starting to hurt a little bit because I've been snacking a lot, which I need to stop. But, um, yeah. Um, I still have to order a breast pump. My little baby's over there sleeping. I'm going to let her just sleep. Um, I need to be asleep, but I got to eat and get her stuff ready for us to get ready to go home. So yeah, it's been a long freaking journey, y'all. Um, Zill went downstairs. <laughs> That's why y'all haven't seen him, like, but he went downstairs. But he's been up here. He was up all night with me, too. 
Um, we're just really tired. Like, she was really fussy. Like, she just wanted to be held all night because she's realizing that she's not in the womb anymore. So she's like, oh, if I cry, they'll pick me up. <laughs> I'm not in the womb anymore. Okay, so that's how this works. So, yeah. So I'm going to prepare to um, get ready for the photographer and stuff to come. I know that people are probably going to be in and out. I had a lot of like my nurses in and out this morning just checking on me and her, the pediatricians, the tech, um, my nurse, the dietary, which brings my breakfast and stuff. Hopefully my lactation RN comes back in um, or I'm going to have to call her to get a breast pump, order a breast pump. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy my breakfast. I might try to like get my own few pictures of her in um, before the photographer comes to have my lens. And then I'll probably update y'all later. I'm not really doing much, you guys. Um, just chilling. Oh, Zell's was calling me. Let me see what he want. Answers, but they glitter more towards you, just like that. Yeah, that's good. It's the day we came home. Um, they discharged us earlier. My mom just left. We gave her like a little um, sponge bath. Um, and now she gave her a little sponge bath. She boo booed. So we had to change her diaper and kind of re-sponge back a little bit. I'm trying to be quiet. But we have to go to her pediatrician tomorrow. And then on the December the 1st, I have to take her to do her hearing screening again because she didn't pass her left ear hearing screening. So I'm kind of nervous about that. I hope that everything is okay with her left hearing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just pray on that. She passed her right hearing with like flying colors, but she failed her left hearing twice. But the doctor kept reassuring me that it could just be fluids, like, and that's you know, naturally, it'll naturally, um, the fluids will naturally go away and stuff like that. So try not to be too upset about it or whatever. So yeah, so I'm about to actually go to sleep. Um, this is what I had me today. They tell me I don't even look like I had a baby. I just got a little pug. But I'm about to go to sleep. Um, I look crazy. I'm about to go to sleep while she sleeps because I'm scared she won't have me up all night. And I don't know if that. Um, I would take a shower, but like I said, I feel like I don't want her to have me up on that, so I'm going to take one in the morning. Um, so yeah, my mom was like, I need to stop trying to like, clean up and stuff. I need to just really lay down. So that's what I would do. And, uh, yeah. I just wanted to document this being, finally being at home from the hospital. So. I didn't get no clips of us in the car, like her first car ride. I forgot. 